Yeah, there's a mess of like Cool. Breathe in and out to say gain vel. Yeah, feel and jing a munch. Ungat kanje. Hey, rice if you I'm trying to form these like mobile studios where you don't need to be fixated in one space. So we live here, we pay taxes, we are citizens of this country, which is democratic, they say. Any space is a possible space. It's my own way of writing South African LGBTI history. So I don't want to be limited by anything. I don't want to be in any studio. I want to be unplugged. That's Martin, who's from Soweto, but connecting with Colin, who is in Davidson, and we assisted by Kala. And Lerato is the project coordinator. I try to make sure that I empower the people that are featuring in the series and people who are around me. These are Faces and Faces participants. Then there's Uket with Uvilenda, who are in another series called Brave Beauties. Brave Beauties look specifically at trans women who are beauty queens. Yeah. When there are exhibitions, I take the participants with me so they'll be able to speak for themselves and get to see what happens to the photographs. How many of you have, have been to exhibitions, Jay? Have you been to exhibition before? No. I needed to give those humans a space to express, which is not what they usually do on a daily basis. Being shown on the, on the exhibition is a sign of showing people and letting people that we exist and we're human. Creating the activist wall. It's a way in which we destabilize the peaceful imagery of the gallery setting. Especially gallery settings. It's white walls, beautiful images, and it seems as if there's no agency. Yes, there are these beautiful young individuals who are on the walls, but they have their own personal stories to tell. Surely the Brave Beauties are the only visual document that ever existed that has reached that far. You can zoom in if you want to. I don't have pimples. <laughs> so I just wanted to give a voice to trans women to be heard and be seen in art spaces. I needed to make sure that people see themselves as worthy humans, just like every other important women in South African history or beyond South African borders. <laughs>